local news now a grandfather of seven survives being shot in the head while sitting inside his home. This all happened near 15th and North Avenue. Our Michelle Fiore joins us live from District 3 with his story. Michelle. Carol and Steve, it's an inspiring story. We met the victim at his home where he greeted us at the door. He's walking and talking, and he says that this is all just incredible. Panic inside this home near 15th and North. It's kind of hard to move when you don't know if a shooter is still out there. Sylvester Thompson was in the kitchen getting a glass of water with his 14 year old son at his side. And all of a sudden, a blast. I hear a boom, and there it is. How close was he standing to you when the gun shot? Right here. Right here where the stool is. He was right there dipping cookies and milk. The bullet lodged at the back of Thompson's head. He's amazingly on his feet today and not taking any pain meds. Yeah, I thought it came through the window, actually, but I guess because of the spray. But no, it came through the wall. That's a high-powered rifle. Gosh. Yeah. It was more than a dozen shots fired from this alleyway, not only hitting the victim's house, but also his car. We counted 10 bullet holes in the car and three in the house. When it happened, the family hit the floor, then called 911. At the hospital, doctors told Thompson he came close to being killed or paralyzed. They suggested that I buy a lottery ticket because I'm like really, really lucky at this point. <laughs> you feeling it? I'm feeling luck. What police are telling us about the investigation and how this victim is moving forward, frightening after this frightening experience, all that coming up at 6. We're live outside District 3 tonight. Michelle Fiore, today's TMJ4. I know we say this a lot, but this is really a miracle outcome. Thank you very much, Michelle.